Ladies and gentlemen, four years ago, I had to make the difficult decision to stop the production of the old, iconic Defender. Today, today is a very special day for all of us at Land Rover, for the fans, for me. Today, I give you back the new Defender, the best ever. So ladies and gentlemen, these are the new Defender 110s. Now the 110 is a five door. Its overall length is approximately 4.7 meters. And that increase in length has been put into the wheelbase to accommodate the extra doors. Defender's highly functional interior is underpinned by its practical and reductive design. This approach is evident by the visible magnesium beam, which runs the full width of the interior. This structural beam features several integrated grab handles to aid entry and for a secure grip when the vehicle is performing serious all-terrain driving. The screen and main controls are ergonomically clustered to provide for a centre seat, which is an option unique to Defender. The paired back design is consistent throughout with visible door fixings that retain the structural casings. Practicality continues with durable rubberized flooring together with flush door sills to provide genuine mop or brush clean functionality. Modern, durable materials and finishes are cutting edge, developed for comfort and to reinforce a clean, reductive and functional interior. An interior that is unique and key to the new Defender's overall desirability. I love that uh, centre seat option. I think that's going to be a favourite with, with teenagers and certainly large dogs. They keep coming. So, here we have two of those design packs. This version here is the Adventure Pack, and it's presented here with the Red Cross livery. This year marks a 65-year partnership between the Red Cross and Land Rover, and the new Defender will play its role in, the, in supporting the Red Cross in its humanitarian activities.